Next, we're going to take a look at your career exploration paper that we're going to work on over the next couple weeks. In this section, we're going to deal with the personality, but we're going to get your paper started. When you look through the assignment, it looks like um, a fairly long assignment, and it's going to take you a little bit of time, but you can see that it is broke down into different paragraphs. So don't look at the whole assignment right away. Just look at it paragraph by paragraph and make checks as you go through it. Okay, first of all, it says open a new Word document, save on your iPad or computer, set all the margins to one inch, which is a default. You can use Cambria or Times font and size 12. Again, the length of your entire paper is not what's important. It's actually completing the assignments and doing what you're supposed to be doing in each section. In, in the bold, it says make sure you use complete sentences and correct any type of errors that you make. Being complete is very important. Um, you're not going to write statements like, I like it just because I think it sounds good. Not very complete. Do not rush through this and do not copy and paste from a website. It's real obvious when you do that. So on the top three lines, you are going to type in career exploration by your name in April 2020. So on your blank sheet, it should look something like this. Career exploration by Mrs. Belkey, April 2020. Going on to the next, it says return two times and type the word personality. So after 2020, two times and type the word personality, because this is going to be your personality section. Return two times and start the personality section of your paper. And then it goes on. In this section, write about your personality. You will use the following guidelines. Okay. In paragraph one, you're going to use the document from your last assignment, the one that you did all the highlighting on, and you are going to list your top two personalities. So it would look something like this. My two top personalities are blank and blank. That is your shortest paragraph that you are going to type. Your second paragraph, it says, in your own words, explain what the first personality means. The first one you listed in paragraph one. So you have the two listed in paragraph one, you're gonna pick the first one. Then you're going to explain why this personality fits you and you need at least five complete sentences. Paragraph two would look something like this one and you can use your own words. I'm just kind of giving you some hints here. For example, like the blank personality, whichever one you put right here, um, I'm just gonna use the enterprising personality means that you are competitive, you have leadership skills and so forth. Some traits would include being ambitious, um, self-confident, and so forth. This personality fits me because I have a very, I have a lot of energy, I'm very social, and so forth, and you would put it in your own terms. Then we would be done with paragraph two. Paragraph three, it says, in your own words, explain what the second personality means. So again, up here you listed two personalities. Now you're going to do like what you did in paragraph two, but you're gonna use the other personality. So your third paragraph would look a lot like the second paragraph, but what you're doing is you're explaining this second personality. Paragraph four, it says, ask a friend or family member if they think the personalities you have chosen fit you and why they think it fits you. After discussing this, start a new paragraph and describe what your friends or family said. You must also include the name of the person you asked. And this again has to, you, you'll notice that it tells you how many sentences you must have. This is what the paragraph would look like, your fourth paragraph would look like. For example, I'm gonna use Mrs. Larson's name. First, Mrs. Larson thinks that I have a social personality type. She said, that towards other people I'm really patient and understanding and so forth. Secondly, she thinks I'm very competitive and a very energetic person and so forth. And so you'll go through and you will use your own information to fill out this paragraph. Make sure you're double checking the sheet to make sure you've covered everything. Next, you are going to go to this website and it'll look like this. It says you are going to click on your first personality. So say that my first personality in that first paragraph was social. I'm going to click on social and then we're, I'm going to choose a career that interests me. 
If I'm not sure about the career, I'm going to click on the link and investigate it. So I'm going to pick on child care worker. And then I will find the information here. In this paragraph, you will list the career, what personality it matches, and what interests you in this particular career. For example, my first career that I chose from the social personality type is child care worker. It involves da 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 da, and I think this career would fit me because da 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 da. Then you are going to do the same thing in paragraph six. You are going to choose a second career under that same personality. So I'm going to go back into this personality that I chose. I'm going to go back into my social personality again. I chose child care worker before. And this time I'm going to choose crossing guard or something else that I think sounds pretty interesting. So I'm going to take that second career and it tells me that I'm going to do basically the same thing I did in paragraph five. I'm going to list the career, what personality it matches, and what interests you in this particular career. My paper would look like this. My second career that I chose from the social personality type is list the career, what it involves, why I think it would fit me. Paragraph seven and eight are a lot like paragraph five and six. It says you are going to click on the second personality. So whatever I had as this second personality up here, I'm going to click on that one. Okay, so I'm going to go back into here. I'm going to go back to my list of personalities. My second personality maybe was artistic. So I'm going to click on that. And again, I'm going to choose a different. Now I see child care workers is here, but I've already used that one. So I'm going to use desktop publishers. And then I'm going to go into my paper and do a lot like what I did in the previous paragraph. My first career that I chose from artistic personality type is da 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 da. It involves this and I think the career would fit me because of that. Then the last paragraph here, paragraph eight, you are going to choose a second career under that same personality. Since I used the personality of artistic in number seven, I'm going to go back into my web page and I'm going to pick a second career from that artistic. Um, such as a singer, even though I can't sing, but I think that would sound interesting. Okay, once I've chosen that, I'm going to go in here and finish out paragraph eight. So my second career that I chose from the artistic personality is so forth. And so when you're all done, you will have eight paragraphs. Remember the first one, you're summarizing. The second paragraph and third paragraph are a lot alike. You're going to explain the first personality, the second personality. The fourth paragraph, you're going to ask a family, friend, or member. And then paragraphs five, six, seven, and eight, you are going to pick some careers that fit under those two personalities. When you are done, make sure you proofread it and make sure you have complete sentences and sub submit to Canvas. By